Toys and crates. Now, this is always a, a big issue. And again, I'm on the opposite school that a lot of people and a lot of trainers just fill the crate up with toys. And let's give the dog a hundred choices, a hundred reasons to throw things around, a hundred reasons to get it stimulated and excited. And I look at it and go, bullshit. She's in there right now, she doesn't get a toy. Not one. Does she look stressed? Not at all. Why? Because I taught her to go into a crate and calm down. A crate is a place for a dog to be calm, to rest, to relax, to be anxiety free. If I fill it up with gifts from the gods, there's choices, there's confusion, there's conflict, there's games to be had. And I'm getting a stimulated dog in a crate and I don't want that. A calm dog in, a calm dog out. It's why my five-year-olds who haven't been in a crate for four and a half years old will walk into this crate on command and go straight down and automatically relax and calm. Because that's all they knew this was. It was a safe place to go when they were told to go. It was a safe place to go when they were overwhelmed. It was a safe place to go when they needed to be alone. It wasn't a place of games. It wasn't a place of entertainment. It was a place of safety and relaxation and that's what you want in a dog. The more stimulated a dog, the more anxiety it is because the more hormones and more stimulants, stimulants are being driven through that dog's body, the more adrenaline exists. So the more energy there is, the more likely that dog is to be destructive. An overstimulated dog makes bad decisions. A calm dog makes good ones. All right? You'll never see a calm dog break out of a crate. Never. You'll never see it dig through the bottom. You'll never see it pull stuff through. It won't scream. It won't howl. It won't self-harm. Calm dog will do none of those things in a crate. It's always the act of an overstimulated active dog. Whether that is stimulation is called through, through anxiety or whether it's through fear or whether it's through aggression or boredom, a calm dog will not do any of these things. So even if your calm dog is bored, it will remain calm. And that's why I push calm training so much. And I say calm dog in, calm dog out, no toys for the most part. She never gets a toy of the night time, never. I want her sleeping all night. I don't want her playing. If she's in here during the day for an hour or two or she has a sleep, there are no toys. If I've got to leave in here for a period of time because I'm busy or because we have to go out, she gets one toy. And it's a safe toy, something like a Kong. It can sometimes have kibble in it. It will sometimes have a frozen um, treat in it. But that's all she gets. No fabric toys. Dogs shouldn't really be allowed fabric toys because that's why they dig your carpets, tear your curtains down, eat your lounge suites because you're teaching them to put teeth on these fabrics. So you should really never give a dog a toy that looks like anything that we would use or anything that we value. Not a toy shoe, not a toy phone or a toy TV or something like that because the dog's association with that is oh I can chew that and it doesn't often think yeah that's a toy that's a shoe toy shoe real shoe that one is better every day of the week because it smells better because it's got you on it all right so toys are really important in crate not to have don't overload the dog with stimulation one toy and a dog safe toy, no rope toys, no fabric toys, no stuffed toys, nothing the dog can die on. All right, again, dogs are needing emergency surgery or are dying because of these stuffed toys. All right, get rid of them, don't use them. Rope toys are fantastic for things like tug. Some of the fabric ones are great for tug, um, but tug toys are tug toys and they're only there when, when they're fully supervised. In other words, you have hands on that toy. All right? You don't sit down and let them chew on it because you're going to take your eyes off. Tug toys are terrific 
when you have your hand on it and when you don't, your dog shouldn't have them. In a crate, one toy, but not of a night time or anything. Calm dog in, calm dog out. Don't give it a lot of choices.